Okay, so here you can see the flooded levels. Very nice winch. It wasn't here, and this was placed here for the cave, for the show mine. And what was that? Is that going to stop? Yeah. Bit of a turntable there, wasn't there, Tom? Eh? The turntable. Turntable, yeah. Oh, yeah. And there's some moulds there. This look blacksmith shop entrance here. Ooh. You want know sorry? I think it would I think it would that 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 um that the explosive, yeah. yeah. At one time, because if you look at fitness at the door frame and everything else, yeah. and you've got a vent to put on. Vent, I think that little magazine, yeah. yeah. And these, you're just running round here to dry, and they sit and dry, and then they, they knock them out somewhere over there underneath that, underneath that little shed there, and then they stack them on pallets, send them on the merry way. Good couple, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> And the winch. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Out again for a belting mooch. And today we've got m several YouTubers and uh, Instagrammers. And I'll, uh, I'll point them out as we walk around. So we have Tom, all minor 66, and Richie Wellock. Yeah. Also, we've got RD Explores. No. <laughs> and we have Sarah from Sweden, Stark Urbex, Richie's wife, Claire. And we have Urban Legend UK, Viking Explores, is it? That's me. Stephen. Yeah. We're all tagging each other today, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These were put in by me. These, yeah. The rings. They were. When did you work here then? When they opened the cup of the show, man. All this, all this lot were backfilled. All right. And dug it all out. These rings were put in in about 1980. Oh, I thought you were going to Oh, yeah. I've got done. Yeah. These guys locking up behind us. Oh, no. They can pull. Just pull the gates too. Yeah. I've got the key in the paddle. Right, okay. I know they are. Right. So you're the one who got permission to open up in the yeah. museum and what have you. It was a show, man. Yeah, yeah. there was a group of us, about three or four of us. Yeah. And the uh, the base dug it all out and took it down there. And the show mine was actually sort of went that way, but it also went down there as well, down to the water. So was that a show for you, sure. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, it was 1980, I think it shut about 85, 86. In the 80s, there were quite a lot of shore mines around here, wasn't there? There were, yeah, and that's where these rings came from. Uh, yeah. There was me, a guy called John Wilmot, and a guy called Colin Wagle. We dug it all out. Another lad called Gary Mosley, uh, mate of mine, Tim Hopkinson, we all did this together. I know, I know Gary and uh, John. You know, uh, John Wilmot. Yeah, John Wilmot. Well, John, John used to be blacksmith here. Oh, right, yes. And that's how I sort of got involved. We were about 18. Right. And this is how we all got involved with it. Right, yes. So, this man is full of deads on both sides of them. Full of deads in Derbyshire. <laughs> Think, not yeah, pump base or a winch, isn't it? I think it was. A it pump. would have been a pump monte because if it was a winch, it would have yeah, been that way on monte. Yeah. yeah. If it, when you get down to the water down here, you'll see the water pipes where they put it out. 
Oh, that's a good table, that. Oh, the stuff we've got the down these passages down here. Oh, that way in the back of the Yeah, all down these. Very well, the water very well built. There's a little story about these walls. The guy that built a lot of these was almost blind. This at least it wasn't needed and talked to that. No. <laughs> I was thinking that. The last of it So this was mine for Chut, which is uh, made up of a uh, very microscopic marine creatures, like diet diatoms. Base yeah. <coughs> yeah, we think it was another as well. Just keep the noise down. <coughs> yeah. So, Quite a lot of water in here, that's when we came last time. We could walk down there, and you could walk around the corner and learn about it. Just walk. Just walk. Just walk. Just walk. Just walk. Just walk. Water park. That's a hell of a water park, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Well, you see what it joins up with down there. Yeah. Um, it's a water park. Stanton 1946. Okay, so here you can see the flooded levels. <coughs> and if we're lucky, we're going to catch some footage of the divers that just arrived outside going in here. Oh, 
Yeah, Lump boy, isn't it yours? Yeah. Yeah, we've got Steve. Steve Five Tapes and Lump Boy on YouTube. Oh, we've got an old boot there as well. Just yeah, it does. Put that in a more prominent place. Oh, this way. Yeah. Yeah, there's a big pump down there. Is that one of the old boots? Yeah. Yeah, I just walked past this and there's an old uh, miner's boot. And a flip flop. Sitting there. And uh, some ancient flip flops. <laughs> <laughs> Is that where you go down? I'll be mine this place. The, the undercutting. And they started, they were started at the entrance there. And what they do is they dig underneath the church, blast all the stone out underneath so you've got the church left above, and then they stand it on pillars. And then they fire it so it drops down, so it comes out in big blocks. And then it was dressed and it was taken to either Stoke on Trent to the potteries, or a lot of it in later days went to. Uh, Brick, ma uh, brick makers where they made fire bricks for uh, crushed up for uh, the silica for fire bricks. Mm. But this place, <laughs> 17, this one was opened in about 17, 1750, 1760, from what I've been told. This was wow. this was the original mine, and then Home Bank, which is up at the top, started off at the quarry. Mm. So a lot of this dates back two, two and a half, three hundred years. Cool. Right, I'll head this way. So you can remember it being dug then, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I can. You just stood inside of me. Go to your right. This was the old tour down here. So they took them to the water down there and then they brought them in down here. That's the show cave. This was the show mine, yeah. Show mine. They went so far down here. Metal yeah, sleepers, steel, yeah. Steel sleepers. Yeah. Yeah, look here, look, there's uh, rollers on the walls as well. <clears throat> when they used to pull carts out. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is the one I remember that after. That must have been seized up in it. It's been burned through with a rope. These are all compressed air pipes. And when was it closed down? The mine shut in about 1969, but Swiss brothers were going to the mid-90s, I think. So, that's not a Very nice winch. It wasn't here, this was placed here for the cave, for the show mine. And what would that be used for? Pulling carts with. Pulling carts it's up the incline, yeah. So you'd have a steel that's cable around that that attaches to the, it, yeah. the cart. And you pull your <coughs> carts with it. And as Tom that's said, that's not original to here, but it can be operated it's with got two man. It's a mechanism on it as yeah. well, so you can, you know, it'll spin back and yeah. quite quickly. Yeah. quickly as well. And it, this one could have been operated from both sides as well. There is a, a piece on the other side where it's put of a handle in. That was the brake mechanism for it. And it also, it was like a clutch as well. So you could knock that across to knock that gear out. To let I it go. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it slides anymore, but it, you, could have, you could have pulled it through. No great Which demonstration time. there. Oh yeah, so the pack walling's been removed from the uh, right hand side and left hand side and just they put the pillars, left the pillars in. Oh wow. 
That's it, Tom. Yeah, if you get it at that angle there, can you see it's the re reflection of the roof yeah. in the yeah. water? You might have just gone underneath anyway, so. They didn't want was pushed behind these walls and then built up. So all behind these walls is just a back wall. But this isn't the circle you showed me. Where they did the circle like no, that's no. not that's not here. That was uh, in the factory. Aha! Uh -huh. oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's where they did. That's oh, where they did the crushing. Yeah, the crushing. Oh, yeah, it was all yeah. done in the factory. Mm. The stone was taken as in lumps, and then everything that that like that. Mm. Just went through before that spot. Well, what a clay beds if you look. Mm. Yeah. But if you look, you can see a lot of the. Uh, I don't really know what that is. It could be calcite or something like that. Mm. So the light hits it, it sparkles. You can see it. They probably found fluorite in here as well. Yeah. Yeah, wouldn't be on the little first one that I bought. Yeah, nasty mess. Oh, he's paste. Have a look at the little projectors and things like that. You find all sorts. Yeah. You can see how they stacked up the rubbish at the back of it and then ripped it all up. That just goes down to Woolwater again. All these are survey lines. Oh, yeah. For keeping it going straight. Yeah, these are dead wire for it, didn't they? Pokey hole down there. Go yeah, go for it. Where you want. This is a bit it's separating a bit here, isn't it? Yeah. You can see how natural stone is here. It's because of clay beds in between it. Mm. But Really, when you think about it, you know, you, you're actually underneath the seabed here. You find the odd fossils as well. Yeah, there were some uh, crinoids down towards that watching face, weren't there? Mm. Well, that's the only reason it's separating, it's because of these clay. Yeah, the clay, clay in between deposits. it. Which they'd have exploited yeah, as natural stone. Which you can stone. see there as soon as you compress it. Yeah. It clumps, doesn't it? Did they use that as natural stemming when they blasted it? Yeah. Brought everything up. There's a load of pipe down here. There's oh, some yeah. uh, tracks and stuff somewhere else as well. One there with a Y piece coming off to. Uh, Brass, I think. Yeah. I think they they've had a, probably had a like a, a wet tank or something like that, you know, to get the moisture yeah. out of it. Yeah, the water separator. Yeah. yeah. Very possible. It opens out again now. And we've got a uh, 
the route that way. And this probably continues down to water, I'd imagine. Should have had another winch there, would we, Tom? On that, on that. base. You think? No, it's on a turntable on it, mate. You can see. There, look. So they can go that way and then yeah, they can turn yeah. it that way. This is getting down towards the bottom end of the face. The last working face. Part of it. Yeah. He's down to water, I think you can see a hand line down here as well. Sure. Guard line's down there. So, uh, Top of a bottle of Jim Beam. So we just find the remains of an old newspaper from 1954. If you have a look up there, that gives Jack. you an idea of how they're That one's Jack. Right, we'll go this one. I think this one. I think that goes down to water again. It will, yeah. Oh, yeah, let's just get forward. Have you there? Yeah, that was put there for you, that Steve. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, Steve, if you can hang it. Yeah, there. hang it in between the two sets. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that photograph that I sent you I think they might have had a winch on there. Yeah. <laughs> right, where you are there now, you're on the face. Or part of the face. Oh yeah, this is uh, something I did want, definitely want to see in here. Some... This is your face end here now. Thank you. 